Hi guys, this is Emil with CoolPile.com and today we'll take a look into another piece of gear, the Float M2 floor stand. The stand came well packaged in individual boxes. Uh, it was well secured, no problems during the shipping. One of the first boxes was containing the pole, the cradle and the user guide, while the second one was containing the base. This, is, this was a little bit heavier. You can see pictures of, uh, of the boxing, of the actual unboxing and uh, how, how items were wrapped for security uh, in, uh, in the post uh, on coolpal.com. The Float M2 uh, floor stand is one of the most versatile stands on the market, if not the most versatile stand on the market. It was designed to allow you to interact with your tablet, watch a movie, uh, read a newspaper, without the hassle of holding the tablets in, uh, in your hand. It's fully adjustable in height, uh, uh, you can rotate, rotate it, it's fully adjustable in height. It's, it has a very sturdy design, it's very secure and very stable and it does very well the job. It, I also have to mention it works with any tablet, we'll use in this test an Android Asus Transformer tablet, but I also tried it with an iPad and it, it basically it's, it's an adjustable cradle, I will show it to you in a couple of seconds and you can use it with uh, any kind of tablet brand tablet or aftermarket or Chinese or whatever tablet you have you can you can use this cradle with it. So let's dive into it. The first thing I want to show you is the um, is the user guide that comes with the tablet. It's very well designed, very beautiful. It has the signature of uh, the designer of the float Dave Cutler. Uh, the pictures are, are very well done, steps are explained by little uh, pictures and text. Everything is well done, it's very easy to install, you, uh, you'll see it in it. It takes, a couple of, uh, it takes a couple of steps, maybe two or three steps, and uh, you're, you're ready to roll. So let's dive into it. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll walk you through each one of the elements individually and then we'll mount it together so you see how, uh, how easy it is to mount. The first element is the cradle. This element keeps the, the, the actual tablet. As you can see, it has rubber fingers, as they call them. It's fully adjustable for any, it, for any tablet. It can accommodate uh, various sizes, 7 inch, 11 inch, as, uh, and it's very, easy to, it's very easy to operate. On this side, you have a metal knob, which uh, hooks up to the pole via a magnetic mechanism. We'll go through that in a second. So here it is how to mount the tablet in the cradle. It's as simple as extending the cradle to the size of the tablet, releasing the knob and you're secure, you're well done. As you can see, there's no issue with the tablet, it doesn't slide, it's well hooked up. So let's go further. The second part of the Float M2 stand for tablets is the pole. The pole is made of two parts. There's one part that connects to the base and there's a second part called the boom which is designed to secure your tablet. Now the boom features a counterweight in order to uh, assure a good uh, grip and to make sure your tablet stays in place. There's a boom knob which allows adjustment in height. As you can see you can easily adjust the height of the of the tablet once it's mounted and on the other end we have the magnetic mechanism which holds the cradle so mounting the cradle onto the mechanism is as simple as standing there and it's well fixed now the knob being a metallic sphere it's it allows adjustment in any position you might think and the magnet is very strong so be careful when you mount it it's strong enough to hold the tablet in any position so you can play with it and keep it as you wish also in order to adjust the length of, of, of the boom there's, there's a little mechanism here that allows an extension so basically you can keep the, we can keep the entire style stand at one, two, three meters away from you and still adjust it to the best position. The third part of the stand is the base. It's a very sturdy element. It's a heavy element which is designed to keep your tablet in place and avoid accidents. It has a threaded hole and it's secured 
uh, it secures the pole on the other side with a washer and a screw. We'll, we'll walk you through this in a couple of seconds. Okay, now that I walk you through the individual elements, let's mount the tablet. You'll see it only takes half a minute to mount it. What we'll need, we'll need a screw and a washer, which are included in the package. And we'll also need a screwdriver for securing the, the, the pole into the base. So the first thing we do, we insert the pole into the base. And it's all done. Now, the second operation, we need to secure it to secure the pole to the base and take the screw and the washer and we simply screw it into the into the base okay we're ready to go the pole is secured into the base, it's sturdy enough to, to remove it, to lift it and walk with it. Once the pole is securely hooked up to the base, there's only one more operation in order to have a functional stand. Take the cradle, as I said the cradle is adjustable for any size of tablet. Take the tablet, this is a 10 inch tablet for this test. We hook it up to the, to the cradle, as you see the, the, the rubber fingers hold it very securely. There is no way of moving it. And the last thing to do is simply attach it to the magnetic mechanism. That's it and you're ready to go. Now, the tablet can be adjusted in any position. So whatever your position is and you want to keep the tablet handy, comfortable, you can simply put it as you wish. You can rotate it. There's no extra addition, there's no extra adjustments required. One little piece of advice, just make sure the, the extension is well secured. If not, it will rotate, but if it's well secured, there's no issue. And all the movements of the tablet are made from the magnetic, uh, from the magnetic mechanism and the metallic knob here. This concludes our Float M2 floor stand review. If you watch this video on youtube.com, you find links to the coolpile.com product review, including pictures and additional information in the description box below. If you watch this on coolpile.com, hit the links in the article to get more information on the manufacturer's website and get one if you like it. By now, you should have a subscribe button on the screen. Go ahead and click it to be updated every time we release a new video. I thank you very much for being a coolpile.com reader. Give us a like, follow us on Twitter, Pinterest or Google Plus to stay close as we share cool gadgets and gear every day. Thank you very much and I wish you a good day.